Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick update. Hopefully you can hear me over the rain pounding on my um, car roof. Um, today is Friday. Uh, I think it's the 18th. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, um, Tuesday I had my appointment. Good news and bad news. Um, the reason that my um, weight loss has kind of stalled apparently is that my thyroid has gone catawanka. We lowered my levothyroxine, my thyroid medication, um, three months ago because I was at like 0.38 on the scale. Um, with my MS, the doctors would rather me be around one, you know, between 0.5 and, and one would be ideal. So we lowered my dosage and now I'm almost at six. I'm like 5.83 or something like that. So I started um, a higher dosage of levothyroxine and within two days I lost a pound, like, and I'm constipated. So I know that um, they said that my pituitary gland is extremely sensitive and um, I should start to see the results within a week or two immediately. So we're gonna redo the blood work and check the blood work and stuff. My liver counts um, have improved. Two of the three are back in normal range. One of them is still a little bit high, but they want me to stop taking the biotin um, about a week before I do my next blood work because that can also give false high positives. Um, apparently biotin can mess with a lot of the uh, blood work and stuff like that. So, um, I recommend if you guys are doing any kind of biotin, whether it's 5,000, 10,000, 2,000, it doesn't matter, let your doctors know that you're on it because it can actually interfere with some of your testing. Um, yeah, so that's just a, a good thing to keep in mind. So anyways, she did clear me to do light exercising. I have a meeting next week with my neurologist, not my neurologist, well, I do have that too. We're gonna do an MRI, and then I'm gonna meet with my neurologist the week after that to make sure that my MS is in check and everything. Sorry, I'm, I have my uh, Flintstone vitamin that I'm sucking on while I'm doing my video. It's terrible, but I'm multitasking. Um, but next week I meet with the nutritionist, and the nutritionist is the one that will determine if I have enough calorie intake and so forth. Um, to be able to do the exercises and that sort of thing. But the surgeons, um, nurse practitioners said everything looks good, everything looks great, everything, you know, all things considered with, you know, all the different, the added surgeries that I had to do and so forth. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Today, I'm addicted to Victoria's Secrets bras now. Um, let me tell you ladies, I know that they're expensive, I do. They're having a sale on them this weekend, um, in my area anyways, there's a sale going on. I don't know if it's like nationwide, but so I'm going to go down and I'm going to see the sale um, because when I was in there a week ago, two weeks ago, I broke down and bought my first two Victoria's Secret bras because they were buy one, get one 50% off. And, and um, I must say... Ladies, especially once you've lost, you know, 80 to 100 pounds and you know about the, um, uh -huh, the balloon effect, I highly recommend to, to spend the money and get a decent bra. You will feel much better. As most of you should already know by now, none of the plastic surgeons will even talk to you or look at you or even do a consultation with you until you're a minimum of a year out. And some of them are 18 months from the time that you've had um, any kind of bariatric surgery, just because your body is still changing. Um, one of the ones that I'm looking at is, is in another state. Um, I know that's bad, but the truth of the matter is, is that I've gotten a lot of bad reviews about the one that's that's here in, in my town um, locally. And I'm gonna have a consultation with them when it comes time about my, cause I, my arms are, are really bad, my wings are bad, but I'm sidestepping. Ladies, seriously, go get fitted appropriately for a bra. I didn't realize that I had been wearing the wrong cup size for a long time, um, which is why I was so uncomfortable and didn't feel good and so forth. So I highly recommend it. Go down there, check everything out. Um, 
And on top of it, you know, there's different paddings and stuff like that. So you can actually buy a bra that has enough padding to give you the appearance of like the next size up, for example, that, that in, increases your bust size by like one whole size and that. So you get an idea of what it looks like, how it's gonna feel, and especially how other people are going to react to it. Yesterday at Walmart was the first day wearing this actual t-shirt bra. And um, yeah, at first I was kind of pissed off and I was a little uncomfortable because these guys kept looking at me. And my husband explained it to me this way. If they're looking, that means you look good. Now there's a difference between looking and giving an admiring nod or whatever and just like staring and you know being stalkerish. Um, but sometimes I guess people just happen to be going down the same aisle, two or three aisles that you are, supposedly, I don't know. But you have to be comfortable with that before you can consider it. I know that I'm only six months out, but I am looking this far ahead into the fact that what size do I want to be, where do I want to be, um, and all that kind of stuff. So I know this is like a multi-topic video, but um, really honestly get sized appropriately. Go down to Victoria's Secrets or wherever your, your local, you know, places that specializes in, in lingerie and, and stuff like that for women and and really get measured appropriately and find out where you're at. I was extremely shocked. They do it for free at Victoria's Secrets. I don't know if they do it for free in other stores, um, but at least you can then know. Like, I, I bought two bras at Victoria's Secrets, then I turned around and went to Walmart and bought a couple $3 and $7 bras, and they work, but they're not as comfortable as the Victoria's Secrets ones, and I'm really shocked by that. You know, I, I'm really shocked by that. So if you have to put, you know, put your coffee money into a jar, you know, every week, you're like, oh, okay, if I used to get two coffees before surgery, put 10 bucks in a jar each week. And by the end of the month or, or the next month, depending on, because they have really expensive bras. I, I don't buy really, really expensive ones. I buy the lower ones there. But by the end of the month or the next month, you'll have enough money to go get you a nice bra. And I promise you, no matter where you get it from, if it's fitted correctly and it's comfortable, you will be extremely happy because I'm extremely happy. And everybody I've talked to says it makes a huge difference whether your bra hurts you or whether it fits appropriately. Um, and for those of us with bariatric surgery, especially knowing that you have this excess skin, if you can tell here, you can't see any of my excess skin um, on, on, on the side here anywhere you can't see it with this bra and I am wearing a Victoria's Secrets bra so it is a big difference you can't you can't see excess skin and flab and 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 stuff like that um, so it's gonna help your confidence tremendously especially going into summer with tank top season and and all that kind of stuff um, just go in and check it out, guys. You'll you'll feel much better. Make sure that you let your doctors know if you're taking biotin, um, no matter what dosage it is, any kind of vitamins that you're taking, multivitamins over the counter, they should know about because there are other vitamins out there that can affect your blood levels um, on different things. So the good news is though, really quick, my creatine, which is based on animal protein, that has gone to normal now since I've been able to eat and that kind of stuff. My potassium's a little low, so I do need to eat at least two bananas a week, and then we're gonna recheck the blood work and see. It's only a little bit low, it's like 3.3, .3 and it's supposed to be 3.5. Um, so anyways, it's, it's, it's really good. I get to wear my raincoat today for the first time, and I, well, I think I put it on one other time, it was raining a little bit, um, and now it's, yeah, I bought it in advance but I love the color. So have a good day, guys. Blood work was good. I can do some um, minor exercising, walking, treadmill. I'm not okay yet to do like, um, like an aerobics class or any of that until I see my uh, nutritionist. But as long as my numbers are good, my um, protein and, and calorie count stuff is good and I feel good, I think I'm okay. I was cleared for next weekend. Um, we're going camping, rain or shine. Yep, it's raining. 
Um, but rain or shine, we're going to go camping. And I was clear to take hikes. She said that I'll know. She says, you'll just know when you need to stop and turn around. And because I have MS, I am very attuned to my body. And I know before I would have to stop and be like, okay, honey, I made it this far. In order to make it back to camp, we have to turn around now because I'm, you know, pushing my limits. So, um, yeah, just listen to your body, guys. Blood work was good. This is going on a little longer. I went rambling a little bit. I'm sorry. Have a good day, everybody, and have a good weekend.